Hello learners, welcome to my pedagogy class and today's topic is substitution method which is one of the methods in new methods of teaching English. To overcome the defects of direct method that was over emphasis on oral activities like discussion and conversation, new method of teaching that is substitution method came into existence. In 1916, H. A. Palmer developed substitution tables and wrote dozens of books on language development. These tables were developed from a single modeled or prototype sentences which served as the basis to multiplicate sentences using unconscious substitution through similar analogies. It assumes that through a single prototype or model sentence, thousands of similar sentences could be framed which he called generative principle. The model or the single prototype sentence frame was termed as ergon that is primary matter to generate thousands of other sentences which he called as secondary matter. This could be understood by an example. Consider this example. Rahul is an intelligent boy. If we want to frame other sentences using this prototype, it could be framed in negative way it could be framed in interrogative way that is Rahul is not an intelligent boy this is negative sentence is Rahul an intelligent boy this is interrogative sentence so similarly thousands of sentences could be framed using a single prototype sentence now let's discuss about types of substitution H.E. Palmer gave many types of substitution but here we are going to study about three types of substitution the first one is simple substitution as you can see on your screen on the extreme left hand side of the table there are words like tamil telugu german french these are languages and the middle part consists of is the language of this is a single prototype structure while on the extreme right hand side there are words like germany tamil nadu france and andhra it is just like match the following. You would have done it in smaller classes. So Tamil is the language of Tamil Nadu. Telugu is the language of Andhra. German is the language of Germany. And French is the language of France. Here what we need to understand is that the basic structure or the modeled sentence is the language of. This is a phrase. Remain same in each case. Similarly, you can frame other sentences too using a single prototype like is from, is the worship place of, is the currency of, is the language of, is the capital of, so on and so forth. Now let's study about another type of substitution that is compound substitution. As you can see on your screen that in the extreme left hand side of the table there are words like the book, the toy, the baby. In the middle part is on and on the extreme right the floor the desk the chair here also it is just like match the following but in this case any of the word in extreme left hand side could be matched to any of the words on extreme right hand side for example the book is on the floor the book is on the desk the book is on the chair and so for the toy and the baby you can frame your own substitution tables using words like is over, is under, is upon, so on and so forth. Now friends, let's discuss about grammatical substitution. As you can see on your screen, that on the extreme left hand side, there are words like you, I, he, they. And you know very well, they are persons in forms. Like first person, second person, third person. While in the middle part of the table, it is written was and were. On the extreme right hand side, there are words like playing, eating, dancing and running. Here in this case, this table is particularly used to teach grammar. For example, you were playing, you were eating, you were dancing and you were running. In first person case, like I, I was playing. 
I was eating, I was dancing, and I was running. And similarly, other words like he, they, you, us, etc. could be used using similar table to teach grammar. Now let's discuss about its merits and demerits. First, its merits. It is logical, natural, and interesting method of teaching. It involves active participation of teachers and students. It develops skills of reading, listening, and writing. It avoids cramming and memorization. It develops creative thinking and imaginative thinking in students. And it is economical in nature. Now let's discuss its demerits. It needs trained, creative, imaginative, and novelty teachers. The entire grammar, prose, poetry, comprehension, cannot be taught through this method only. It is time-taking process. So friends, here we have discussed about substitution method, its types, its merits and demerits. If you have any suggestion or comment, please write it to me in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video.